Good afternoon, this is Eric Bertram with Apex CCTV. Welcome to our tutorial video on how to configure a GeoVision video server to connect a GeoVision Center V2 system. I'll go ahead and fire up the Center V2 system so you can see that our, uh, our client connection is allowed. Uh, this is my training video, or my, I'm sorry, my training DVR that's already connected to Center V2. Go over here and open up the accounts page in the address book. And I can just show you briefly that there is a a video server here configured under demonstration video servers that will allow uh, incoming connections. So all we need to do now is configure the video server itself. So I'll close my address book, minimize the software for the time being. Let's go ahead and fire up Internet Explorer. So I'm going to run up to the address bar here and type in the IP address of the video server itself. In this case it's 192.168.1.65 and we do need to log in as an administrator. And once the video server's view loads, on the left side we have all of our different uh, configuration options and Center V2 is located under Events and Alerts. So we'll open up Events and Alerts and go to the Center V2 page. And this brings up all my Center V2 settings on the right. Uh, this is actually very simple. I'll just check this Activate link box. I need to type in the host name or IP address of the computer that's running Center V2. In this case it's 192.168.1.55 and I need to enter uh, my username and password. And we'll go ahead and leave all of our possible messages coming in for motion detection and input triggers for now. Uh, we're, we don't need it to run on a schedule, we want it to run all the time. And by default, uh, video servers will stay connected to Center V2 all the time. So if you, if you power it down, uh, reboot it, disconnect the camera, connect the camera back up, whatever. Uh, as long as the Center V2 is available for communication, the video server will stay connected. So I'll click Apply here, and that should connect us to Center V2. Uh, at the bottom, if you watch, the status uh, should update here uh, momentarily, and we'll see that, that the system is connected to Center V2. Connected, and this shows you the time that this this unit connected. So now I can go back over to Center V2, open the software interface up, and uh, here we have our, our um, uh, video servers connected. I can also expand the tree on the right side under video servers and uh, mouse over this and you can see here of course the status is online. And Ladies and gentlemen, it's that simple. Thank you so much for watching our tra training video and thank you for choosing Apex CCTV.